Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Russell, and it's, you know what? It's been a while since I've done a cast, so uh, we'll jump right into this one. We have in the bottom right-hand corner my good friend, Mr. Wiggs, who used to play random, but the other day he finally told me he was switching and maining to Zerg, so I was a little bit happy about that because we are on a 2v2 team, and... When he's random, we don't do very good, but when he's actually a race that he does well with, we do pretty decent. So, he's finally switching to Zerg, and in the top or left-hand corner, we have 24s. That's 24s. you got to put the Z at the end there, because there's a Z at the end there, so it's not 24s, it's 24s. And he looks like he is going for a for, for a fast expand, possibly a forge fast expand, or just walling off with a gateway or two or three, because I believe you need like three gateways to wall off here. And he will be scouting with this probe here. And this probe will scout and see that it is cross position. And on a map like this, you have your natural into a decently defended ramp. Which as a Protoss player, here he can basically just defend this with a few buildings and like a force field. Like basically wall off here and then force field here and he'll be able to defend it off. And then just like use stalkers to pick off zerglings that are like right here or something like that. And we have Wakes also going to scout out. And it looks like he's scouting out cross position first. Possibly, maybe, I don't know, it looks like it's going cross position. Yep, it is going cross position first. And we do have 24s putting down that forage first. So he is going for a forage fast expand. So I wouldn't be surprised to see like a gateway. Oh, and Wiggs cancels him for making the gateway. I always hate it when that happens, because I've had a few zergs. Like basically, when I'm trying to put down a cybernetics core, they force me to take off another probe just to put it down. And we're scouting around the base, just trying to see as to what he can find. And he is taking a third, no, a 14 hatch, I believe. So he's got his 14 hatch going down. And you know, still droning up, getting that spawning pool at the 14. So it's actually like a 14 hatch, 13 spawning pool. And we do have the cannon going down for 24s now, so he will be relatively defended in case Wiggs was going for any kind of rush, but unfortunately he is not. Wiggs is going for a more macro style based game. And we do have this 24s probe just sitting here chilling, checking out what's going on, not really doing anything, and Wiggs looks like he's going to get the surround on him, and nice, almost gets the complete surround on him, but that probe isn't really doing anything. And we do have this hatchery just about to finish, and it will be popping any second now. And we have 24s throwing down his expo and, um, is, can he, does he, he doesn't, he doesn't know, he has no idea. No idea at all. Wiggs, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. I, apparently 24s likes base 24s likes bases inside his base, so I guess that's what Wiggs is doing. He's giving him a base inside his base. <laughs> and he's throwing down that Roach Warren. <laughs> and the Roach Warren and the hatchery will finish relatively at the same time, so the moment this hatchery pops, he'll be able to <laughs> Get a few roaches out. <laughs> oh, this is so risky. Oh, and it's about to pop. What does 24 see? Does he see the creep yet? Is the creep there yet? No, he doesn't see the creep. He is chrono boosting probes out of this expansion. He's just now getting both gases up for the expansion. Neither gas is up at his main yet. And he's transferring some probes down. And... He still has no gas whatsoever in there. Does he see the creep? I see the creep. Does he see the creep? He sees it. He's looking at it. Then he, he's like, why is he going on? And then he's like, wait a second. Why is there creep inside my base? <laughs> Wigs. <laughs> Putting down a spine crawler. Oh my gosh. Oh, 24 has got to be like, what the fuck is going on? Wiggs putting the spawn larva, having the queen already, taking out a few drones. 24s is now like, what the fuck? <laughs> taking out that queen with just pure probes. Ah, oh, 
and Wig's microing this roach around. <laughs> They're trying to take down the spine crawler. And Wiggs has a few more roaches popping. He has more than enough larva, more than enough minerals to build quite a few more more quite a few more roaches, and he's just basically focusing down these zealots. These zealots are the only thing doing any real damage, and now these pros are just easily going to fall to these roaches. And it looks like we have 24s using all of his spare minerals, trying to build a few pylons, getting those in, in before the creep, and building two more gateways. But at this point in time, he needs to be chrono boosting this side, this warp tech out. And 24s is now like, how? <laughs> and we just laughs at him. <laughs> Oh, instead of building anything else, he builds four. <laughs> this is like insult to injury. He builds four overlords at this <laughs> proxy hatchery. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, 24s, but this is hilarious. He's not really able to do anything. He pretty much pulled all of his workers just to try and take these out. He needs to be chrono boosting this out. And these cannons are finishing just in time to basically deny Wiggs from getting any real damage in. Wiggs needs to micro these back. And no, he will be losing one roach. He's trying to focus down the cybernetic core. He should be focusing down the pylon instead. There we go, focusing down that pylon. And then just building another queen. It's got a few more roaches on the way if we go to the production tab. He has two more. And all this time, we see 24 still going for a standard build, trying to get everything out that he needs. But Wiggs unfortunately has too many units in his main and all he really needs to do is just skirt right through here and he'll be able to go right down into the expansion taking out all of the probes here what we do need to see is 24 is having some probes on gas and he does on this one but not enough to get the kind of stalker count that he wants but at this time he actually does have more than enough gas and wigs almost losing a another roach and he will probably be losing this roach unless if he moves it over to like right here and he does lose that roach, so he's losing another roach. And every roach right now is pivotable. 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 Pivotable? Pivotal. There we go. And we do have 24s trying to morph in this pylon, but at the same time, Wiggs is like, uh-uh, I see that pylon there, son. Bam, two roaches going to be sending them over there and going to hopefully be taking out that probe. And the probe is trying... <sighs> Twenty-fours. This creep. The creep is already over there. Wigs. Why aren't you seeing it? Oh, that's right. He's more focused over here. And he will be taking out this cannon. And bam, losing the cannon. Now focusing on the drone line. And we do have twenty-fours trying to, I guess, do something over here. And Wigs is going to shut this down easily. Just needs a micro these roaches around and he will not be doing so what instead he should be doing is just basically take him to the low ground because he does have the overlord for high ground vision and focusing him down that way but he is just basically throwing away all those roaches and boom there goes the probe and so we do now have wix's main base pretty much fully saturated does need a few does need a few drones on this gas and his second almost fully saturated on the mineral line and he does get bring a few wings down here just as cannon fodder and to take out that cannon, to take out those, and looks like we have 24 is having absolutely no probes, nothing. He is trying to build a hidden base here, but he just left the game because there's really nothing for him to do, nothing he could do with all the units that Wiggs had in his main base. And the proxy hatchery, which... Oh, jeez, Wiggs. Wiggs, 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 and your proxy hatcheriness. I actually really like this though. Actually being able to sneak that in kind of shows like some of the skill level that gold players still are. They don't really scout everywhere like you need to. And Wiggs kind of reacting really late to these pylons being placed here even though he was able to see them. Kind of probably more focused up in here not really looking at as many map just focus moving around units. Because what you want to be doing is you want to always be checking around at your minimap just in case. So it's like you, like my eyes are following my mouse right here, you know, just kind of like doing this. And then bam, eyes are looking all over the minimap. Back, back, boom, 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 just like that. So you actually can see as to what's going on on your minimap. And Wiggs having a ton of resources probably could have gone for another few hatcheries just for sh just for shits and giggles. So that in case that he was able to thwart, this in case that 24 was able to thwart this attack off, Wiggs had more than enough hatcheries to A rebuild units very quickly. B increases econ by a ton. 
and then C, basically go when 24s came to attack with like the units that he did have, because it was like, okay, I might be ahead, because I took out this hatchery, he had a ton of units there, he had a ton of minerals put into this, and then bam, here comes this little force, duh, duh, and then all of a sudden Wiggs is completely 360 around him. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm now going to go ladder because I have a tournament today, so I will catch you guys on the flip side.